Fogelmans. Yep. Uh, I want to get this done this week. Because I'm, Here's to hoping. I'm ready to move on. Right? Like Paul Stanley once sang Move On hmm. on his 1978 solo album. I watched a video of a few people re- uh, reviewing... Well, not exactly reviewing... Oh, gee, I'm trying to think of how to explain it. Uh, like, doing a draft. Okay. You know how people do, like, football drafts? Yeah. Basically that, but with the four Kiss solo albums. With the songs on there. It was pretty funny. It was, uh... I don't know if anyone watching is going to be interested in that, but it's uh, Shout Out Loudcast. I've been watching their shit a lot lately. Mm. Let me try to remember what my team was. Z- Are uh, these fucking nicknames? Oh my god, I keep forgetting about them. <laughs> yeah. Level 50? Holy shit. Yeah, yeah because, you know... The experience gain and like experience share. We're not built for this game. Yeah. As you said in the last episode. That was like over a month and a half ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was watching it recently. Mm-hmm. I yeah. was like, fuck a month. <laughs> yeah, I'm wanting to get the final few parts done this week. Hopefully, you know, it all works out. Because yeah. the last few times that you've attempted, God said, fuck you and fuck your stomach. I love health problems. They're so amazing. Dude, I am blessed to not have that problem, and I feel fucking horrible for you. I, I know I'm, like, laughing, but, like, genuinely, that fucking sucks. Yeah. It sounds like hell. It is. And, like, what's funny is that, like, you know... I lucked out in my case, even, because, like, I don't deal with allergies, I don't have asthma, but, like, you know, Lulu has, like, both of those. Hmm. Or, we know one of my brothers has uh, allergies, we don't know if either of them have asthma yet, though. Yeah. Has it flared up if they do? (laughs) You're laughably weak. He, He could push you right into that freezing fucking, like... You are standing in a horrible place, Jupiter. All it takes is one kick- one kick to the knees, and you're down. These close-ups are just really funny, because they all just look like toddlers. <laughs> God, who- was it LSD who compared it to, to like, My Sim City or whatever it was? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> He's spot on about it. Uh, do I know you? <laughs> do you know who I am? I am your worst nightmare. Mm-hmm. Barry should have fucking shoved you in that lake because I would have been mercy. Team Galactic is going to do something huge for everyone's sake. It seems like I should be able to squish their heads. <laughs> no, no kidding, don't do that. <laughs> yeah. uh, now, if you'll excuse me, she's gonna like shove you aside. Hmm. Oh, I'm surprised that you didn't like step forward like a shove she just disappeared into the void yeah yuxi which for the longest time i pronounced as oxy because like you look at the same but then i hear like an official pronunciation go yuxi i'm like what an a's elf instead of as elf it's like but you know best for it is exactly how you would expect it to be yeah (laughs) Yeah, like, I did, yeah. Yeah, um, I did the same thing. <laughs> yeah, I think most people did. That's what's funny to me. Because until I was, like, maybe 16 years old, it was always Uxie. And I, then God, I, I started, like, I was. watching some episodes of the anime and, like, started watching actual, like, y- like uh, YouTube content. And, like, Oh, okay, Yuxi. That actually makes a lot of sense. Dude, after finding out those two were pronounced the way they were, I was like, if Mesprit is Mesprit, I'm going to fucking put my head through a wall. <laughs> I would have lost my mind if Mesprit was just Mesprit. 
Okay, so I, you know how in these VCs I always have music going yeah. in the background, so like I can hear it, but not so the mic hears it. But like I have background noise because you know I'm like this. Oh God, what the hell? What am I thinking of? A, I'm thinking of some term. I need like five different fucking screens to appease me. <laughs> but that's not the point. If I have like six screens on, like all <laughs> all right around me right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like. You understand, but like I have a problem. I don't know why I use. I know repel. that feeling. I know you're in the city. You gotta repel the people. Yeah, it's true. But as I was saying about like my music thing, I have a part of a live performance from, you know, in the '80s of Fraley's Comet, mm -hmm. and that you can hear like the, yeah. I say, I, have you been to a concert? I have not, and I probably never will. That's fair, because it is not for everybody. It is for me, but, like, not for everybody. Um, most concerts, um, have, like, something to kind of hold the crowd while the band gets ready. Whether it's, mm -hmm. like, an opener, but even the opener band would need this. Um, sometimes they'll just, like, play music over the speakers. Because when I saw, like, Alice Cooper and Ace and, uh, well, not Kiss, because they had the opener, which was a painter. But that's not the point of the story. I keep jumping off the walls with this, and I do apologize. Mm -hmm. But back in this performance of Fraley's Comet, they had Fractured Mirror from Ace's first solo album when he was still in Kiss. And I think that's such a cool fucking, like, stage opener. But nowadays, they don't utilize this. Or any of the fractured instrumental saga, like fractured mirror, fractured two, fractured three, fractured quantum, hmm. any of these. No, they just use like this like typical like space kind of class. You know, like oh man, walk on the moon, classical music. And I get the Ace is the space man, but like I think most Ace fans would prefer like fractured mirror as the opener because like oh this is the song from his first solo album. Ooh, I would have been that way, damn it, <laughs> like. I'm live. Yeah. Well, uh, well, we got to take out Team Galactic in style. Fuck yeah. That was probably a waste of $120,000, but whatever. Right, like... Do you have a skirt or is it pants or shorts? Uh, I believe... Yeah, it's uh, pants, I believe. Good. Good God. I hate that the Pokemon default puts the girl in a skirt most of the time. I get it. Girls wear skirts. I'm a girl and I don't wear skirts. I fucking hate skirts. Can't stand them. Mmm. So it's like, incredibly annoying to try and make myself in these games, and it's like, this doesn't fucking look like me. Not even when I was 10. <laughs> Cause, seriously, me wearing dresses started when I was like, oh jeez. I must have been in kindergarten. And, like, I've worn, like, a dress from time to time if, like, forced to. I think the last time I was forced to was, uh, eighth grade. It fucking sucked. Because <laughs> it doesn't... See, I feel like maybe if I tried it again, if I had the right one, maybe. Hmm. But, like, most of the time, they're not. They don't look... Cool? They look overly girly. Like, I want something, like, neutral. Not frilly, you know what I mean? Yeah. And most dresses are. It's fucking- Or they don't fit my body the way I want it to. Like, maybe now that I'm, you know, that was the sickest fucking transition in my music ever. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Yeah, there's some weird part of me that wants to wear that like wants to wear a skirt on occasion. I'm not gonna lie. Fair enough, cause like, yeah, you know, nowadays it's a lot more accepted. Like years and years ago, it, it, I mean, granted, people would still be like, "Oh, you want to wear a skirt? You're a guy. What the fuck?" <laughs> First of all, kilts exist. Fuck you. Second of all, I'll kick your ass wearing a skirt. <laughs> I am gonna like, embrace my Scottish roots. Yeah! My extremely like, heavily Scottish roots. 
Uh, because like that's like it's like ha it's like mostly Scottish and Irish with like a little bit of like uh of German in there. Just a little bit. I'm a quarter German. <laughs> and then uh Kane's half Irish, half Welsh. <laughs> See, you, you get to, like, kind of know exactly what you have. And then there's me, he's like, I have this and this. There might be something else I don't know of. <laughs> Which is all on my mother's side. My father's side mm. is just white. Because his side of the family came here on the Mayflower. Mm. So, like, you know, whiter than white. <clears throat> I hope you're using that counter app I gave you. Which okay. one is the fucking counter up? Th this. Oh. Uh. It doesn't actually serve any real purpose in this game. <laughs> Did you know the calculator app in this game is broken in other languages? Really? Yeah, I just saw a video of that today. Okay, so like in English, it works fine in like J in Japan, but like if you're in like Germany. You'd have to, like, change your Switch's, uh, language for it. Uh... But, like, because of the way they use, like, periods instead of, like, commas for decimals, or, like, other way around, I would presume. Um, the calculator, you're, ch <laughs> you're changing the language. Like, change mm. it to German. I don't even know if... where I can do that. <laughs> uh, it should I'm... be a system oh, in language. I mean, you have... Um, I, would, I would do it sh the third one. Huh? The third one should. Yeah, that one's German. <laughs> sure. <laughs> and you gotta do like uh. Well, this is gonna it... pad the length of the episode. Right. <laughs> <laughs> like the best way that I can explain, it, like you gotta do one two three point one two three, and you'll see, like it starts acting kind of funny. There's, like, other things that are broken, but that's the first one I'm thinking of. Call solid battery! <laughs> Start of the diamond. <laughs> Castlevania Advanced Collection. <laughs> <laughs> Legend. <in. laughs> well, one of my Joy-Cons just randomly stopped responding. That's interesting. Yeah, I noticed. I was like, what the fuck happened? Uh... Wally, I ate the neuter us! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, yeah, I got to join this. I am so unreasonably excited for you to do this. <laughs> if you do like 10 divided by 4, it also acts weird. Mm. Okay, that's still in English. Strange. Is it just the is it just the system language? It, I'm pretty sure it's system language. All right, all right. Bruh, it'll treat I'm, me like you're in the region. Bruh, I'm what German. I don't know what this says. I can't understand it. All right, so go into the apps thing, and we find calculator. There it is. All right, one two three point one two three. Oh, what the fuck? Do we have to change the region? That might be it. What the Aww. fuck? Yeah, I can't do that. It's stupid. I don't uh, understand. I... <laughs> console. Okay, this is There it. we go. It's named the console. Oh my god. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Mine is called Nintendo Switch. Because when I bought it, Lulu posted on Instagram, like, my sister bought a Nintendo Switch. I just commented on the post with no real reason. Nintendo Switch. Mm -hmm. And that just stuck. Nitty and I've been, Switch. Yeah, and I still use it to this day. If I, uh, I remember in the post, Kane mentioned that he, had, he was playing uh, Breath of the Wild on the Nintendo Switch. And... I was trying to figure out if he had gotten it because he had mentioned in an interview that he was thinking about it. Hmm. And 
And I sent a screenshot of his post, which showed, like, top, like, a little top cup that he replied to, you know? Saying, you know, he got a Nintendo Switch. And Lulu notices Kane's reply, says, <laughs> Yas. And she's like, he says Yas? And I just kind of sat there like, Yas. I was like, yas. yeah, he says that a lot. He still says it. He still says it. I don't know where he got this. <laughs> it's like, Yas, queen. And dude, what's funny is I told him about it. I told him that it's like, it's like, dude, my fucking sister told you to use that. And I was like, he says yes. I'm like, yeah. And in response, he said yes, lol. Like he did that on purpose. I'm using the elevator to go down one floor. I really am the true American. I'm <laughs> right? using the escalators, which is faster. Escalators. Eels. Uh, that's not what I wanted to do. Aww. Hey, yeah, I'll have to find that video of, like, the calculator thing and send it to you. <laughs> Please. I <laughs> need it. Please. It's so- It's so fucking baffling. <laughs> I don't know- Like, they explain how it happened, but it's like, you would think they would work around this? There we go, I found it. It's oh in my... god, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have to watch that a I'm gonna have to watch that after. Fuck yeah. Cause like... <laughs> I'll put it in a, uh, no mic. Well, the Team Galactic bit is actually quite long. Oh boy. Is there an item here? I think there might be. Hi, clearly meant for Deoxys. Right. Like, this is very clearly meant for Deoxys. Oh, yeah. Can you even put Deoxys in this game? That's a good question. You should be able to, now that I think about it. Now I'm thinking about really, really hard. In theory. I was like, why is this song so quiet? It's Kiss's song Forever, which is like this ballad. Hmm. I sure remember you. You all look the same. <laughs> They took my Clefairy away. They took my Clefairy away. away. Ha ha, oh. nerd. <laughs> we had two totally different reactions. Nerd. <laughs> Don't know anything about any storage key. As he leaves it there. Or he must be done with, like, Team Galactic at that point. He fucking left it there. I mean, he, I think the implication is he dropped it, but I like to think he slammed it down angrily. It was like, fuck this, <laughs> I quit. Ooh, what is this, Uwu? Viagra! <laughs> <laughs> that joke will never die. <clears throat> it's like my favorite response. You're too young for us, you can join when you're older. This is playing the wrong music. On is this it really? Yep. On this floor, it's supposed to play the Veilstone building theme. Oh! Oh, wait, no, I mean the Eterna building theme. Uh, God, I did not get this far in Diamond. I don't know why I remember this stuff. It's been literal years. Easy, because I was memory in like, is like a weird yeah. thing. Yeah, I was in like senior year of high school when I last fully played Gen 4. Do you have to hit it on the green thing? Nope. It just won't let you? Uh, yep. Stinky. Nope, you have to unlock it. A stinky. Fortunately, I got the storage key, so... Ah. Uh... Do you have the key? But a storage key is safe with our guard in front of the HQ. Nah. -uh. Um... Yeah, about that. He talk to him wow, again. Let me see you're what he's doing. Says. Nothing. You have the key. Ah, oh, that's a that was a missed opportunity. I know, right? He does nothing. A dusk stone. If only I managed. If only I bothered to get a uh, a dusk uh, a dusk gold. That would have actually been very useful. Car's design kicks ass. I do like the redesigned building. 
It looks like you could slide across the floor with socks on. It does. <laughs> it would be so fun. Yeah, it is unrealistically shiny. Right? Like, damn, they must have just waxed this shit. Wee. Mm-hmm. Uh-oh. We slid into danger. Yeah, this is essentially a long stretch throughout this entire building, and then a long journey up Mount Coronet, so it's gonna be a while. This one is long. Yeah. Take an eternity. I think it's probably still the longest, like, plot climax in the series, now that I think about it. Really? Damn! I could be wrong on that, though, because I've not played Gen 8 or Gen 9. And I didn't get that far in Sun and Moon. I don't know if it's any shorter in Diamond and Pearl versus Platinum, but I guess we'll see. Because it's... I've only played... Pearl, like, once. No. I, I wouldn't know either, because, like, again, I'm... I have not completed Diamond. Dust Dogs. Isn't it weird that they're using the Wurmple line rather than, you know, Cricket Tune? Yeah. Yeah, it's, uh... Yeah, it's, uh, kind of weird, considering that they use completely different Pokemon and Platinum. Like, completely different Pokemon. Yeah, it's like... When... I was rewatching like, one of the older episodes, and I get confused, because I'm like, wait, is Morple Gen 3? You go, yeah. I'm like, wait, why the fuck are they using God? What's the Gen 4 one? Oh, Cricketot. How could I forget? Mm. Because it's baby... Oh, Bronzor! It's baby... Da -da 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 -whoop. <laughs> <laughs> that was my reasoning, straight up. More like Bronze... Dead. Bronze gone. Bronze gone. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <laughs> yeah. oh, the two perfect. Hey, you could use it for bronze song as well. True. It's a universal term. Bronze gone. I love gong. Bron bronze gone. <laughs> I love bronze song though. But I don't even have a Pokemon L plus ratio. <laughs> oh. The Grutties of the Grutz. <laughs> L plus ratio. L <laughs> plus ratio. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. I I heard that in like I think it was the previous episode that I played it in as well. First of all, so that means two episodes in a row that I played that. Second of all, fucking hilarious. Oh, warp panels, my old nemesis. God, right. I have Every always time. hated these. Always. Every time they've been in a game, I fucking struggle because I'm just like... I'm very impulsive, like... I don't sit there and critically think half the time until it's like, Oh, this one would take me here. I just kind of brute force like, it. I ha <laughs> yeah, I pretty much brute force it and I get myself into trouble as a result in these games. It's like, oh no, now I have to do this like totally optional battle. Which is like, the experience is good, but I don't have any healing items, so I'm gonna die. Hmm. Without fail. Yellow. <laughs> yeah, something these so have never been fun. And I don't understand why- And I don't understand why they have kept bringing them back generation after generation. Probably like, oh, the kids need puzzles to keep their brains going. It's like- Okay, maybe I want a fun puzzle? Would it be that hard to make a fun one? They are very slow here. Like, very slow here. Good god. Which makes them like ten times worse. Like, horrible. You know what just fucking came up in my shuffle? Mm hmm? Oh yeah! <laughs> 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 that intro is so funny. 
I know that when Gene and Paul were on that night, mm -hmm. obviously not drugs because Gene is sober and very vocal about not ever getting drunk or high. Mm. But like, <laughs> it is so unreasonably funny. Yeah. They were on the top of their comedy game that night. Mm -hmm. Uh. Which, by the way, how funny is it that, like, a week prior to, like, the announcement of that soundboard, mm -hmm. I joked in a live stream with LC and Gunner. I was like, when will they release, um, one with Mark St. John it, on it? Come on, kiss! And then, fuck, a week later they announced it. I'm like, oh! <laughs> I didn't think it happened, truthfully. I joked and joked every time a new soundboard was released. This is the fifth one that they've released so far. So, like, I didn't think it would actually happen, because Mark only did two and a half shows, which mm. makes the odds very fucking low. <laughs> and to get one of the full shows as well. I, here's how I thought it would go. I thought if we got one with Mark, we would get the half show, which would have both Bruce and Mark. Mm. Which would have been cool, truth be told, but like... You know, it would have been like, oh, it's just half Mark, half Bruce, you know, it's like, there's Mark, but like, you know, not all the Mark we could have. And then, you know, fate smiled upon me, it was like, would you like a full Mark show? By some miracle. Now, if I was a comedy relief sort of bad guy, I'd tell you where the key is, but I really don't <laughs> know. You're a liar. Alright, well, I think that's the way forward, so clearly... We have to take this. Oh, Key, where are you? I was gonna joke that he has it, but that actually might be the case. Fuck you, bitch! <laughs> I completely forgot this place's layout. <laughs> right, and I'm not gonna be much help because I don't know the layout either. Kadabra, that might be a problem. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! That is a problem. Where were you when mm -hmm. Monkey turned the man? Nope! <laughs> <laughs> get fucked, get fucked! Return to Absol. <laughs> right? Oh, of course you used one that actually doesn't attack us! God damn it. I could have actually won that. Right? Like, go for oh. Just my luck. Um, it's setting up. I don't like this. Right. That is fucking scary. There we go. I like- All for nothing. I just like how accuracy works in Pokemon. As a work. Cause like, um, truth be told, I don't know. If, um, <laughs> Um, if it's, uh, lowered a single time, you hit, like, half the time. God, yeah. Most I, I, don't shit think ever. That's, I don't think that's how it actually works, but it, it's how it feels like it. It's like how... an 100... Like, not 100... Like a 90 accuracy move feels like it doesn't hit ever. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking it noise, like... amazing. It's like, what the hell is calculating this? Because it's such bullshit. It's rigged. Yeah! The like, game's oh my rigged. God. Dude, the fucking- <laughs> I just flailed my hands about I got so excited to say this. I saw a challenge run in Platinum. I think it was like Chansey. Well, that wasn't very well hidden. And- right. And- the, uh, Enemy AI cheats. Because it would use a certain move only when it knew the move would hit. And any other time, it would use a different move. Mm. So the AI was fucking cheating. Mm -hmm. uh, mm. uh, what game was this? It was it was platinum, just uh, straight platinum. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> like it's. Uh, he would, I, if I'm thinking about the right channel, I'm pretty sure I am. I'll have to like rewatch the video. 
And truthfully, I will, because it's like, you ever have those videos where you just rewatch it over and over again? Yeah, I do. Yeah. <laughs> That's one of them for me. Like, I'll freak. Like, to no one's surprise, I will frequently rewatch uh, Kane interviews. Hmm. Like, hmm, I, I wonder why. But, like, I'll also rewatch, like, uh, specifically, like, the, that podcast I mentioned earlier. I'll rewatch. I'll rewatch the first videos I saw from them. And it was actually the Ace Fraley Paul Stanley thing, which I'm sure you remember what I'm talking about. Where, um,. Ace, like, went off on Paul for, like, it's like, oh, if we performed with the original lineup at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, it would have sounded like piss instead of kiss. <laughs> and Ace is like, I'm going to try and blackmail you. Yep. Let me try Which... to imitate this guy. Okay. People like you just don't understand <laughs> why we do what we do. <laughs> you don't understand Team Galactic Side is why you defy us. Why the Loser. fuck did you... You sound like fucking like Jar Jar Binks and <laughs> Voldemort combined. <laughs> Which I'm not even in a Harry Potter, but like I've seen enough clips to know. I have barely seen Harry Potter. Dude, what pisses me off is that like, okay, my persona's a badger. Anytime I want like badger things, 50% of the time, it's fucking Harry po Potter as Hufflepuff. Hmm. Like, first of all, how unfortunate that the, like, for curiosity, I took, like, a quiz. Like, oh, what fucking house did you fall to? First of all, Slytherin. Second of all, you know, not Hufflepuff. It's like, hmm. The only thing that I know about Harry Potter is that the author has turned into a massive bigot. <laughs> yeah, like, what the <laughs> fuck? That is insane. That's, like, also, like, a further reason for me to not get into Harry Potter. Because, like... <clears throat> I've had virtually, like, only bad experience with Harry Potter fans. Yeah, so, that like, sounds about right. So, like, you know... That has only deterred me further. Yeah. And from what I know, like... <clears throat> some of the most popular characters are told fucking scumbags anyway. Like, everyone goes on about Snape. It's like... His character is not a good person. Mm. Now stop saying Kane looks like him nowadays, you fucking assholes. <laughs> it's it's like why you can compare him to anybody else. I was like ah. <laughs> Kane gets compared to so many different things. Mm. <laughs> this poor man. What? <laughs> Like, Rambo. Someone said he looks like He-Man with dark hair nowadays, and it's like... It's like, it's funny, but That's like... It's really funny. <laughs> it's, it's like, That's I hate that really you're... really funny. The worst part is, is that they're right. They are, I can see it. Yeah, it's like, I hate that they're right. I hate it. Like, at least it's He-Man, though. Like, He-Man's not... I would trust He-Man. He-Man. I've got the power. And what's funny is that Kane's joked about it too. I want Kane to say that while shooting the gun guitar in the air. <laughs> that is really funny. <laughs> it is. Like, uh, uh, there are a few other ones like Corey Feldman, but like, I think the He Man one is my favorite just because of how fucking hilarious it is. Like, that and Rambo, those are my two favorites. Because, like, he's embraced both of those. <laughs> uh, what's I? What's funny about the Rambo comparison? Because like, more so in the '80s than now. Even though nowadays you could say, "Oh, he looks like Rambo in like the 2008 movie." And it's like, yeah, <laughs> but like, Kane didn't realize he looked like Rambo. So like, he reads a magazine's like, "Oh, the uh, Kane Rambo Roberts." So he's like, "Where the?" Fuck are they gang that? And he looks over at Alice, who looks at him and just goes, Have you looked in the mirror? <laughs> like, everyone but Kane knew. So he looked in the mirror, he's like, Oh. <laughs> I would pay to have seen his fucking face. Just like the realization he set does. in. He does. <laughs> he really does. Oh my god. 
Oh, so funny. Time to go all the way back around. Oh. I oh. do not like the way this building is designed. It is genuinely annoying. Now we can in now we can infiltrate the building properly now. Did, did I just say building? Yes, you did. God damn it. <laughs> the building. If you heard the thuds, that was probably all my dogs itching at themselves. Because mm -hmm. I heard the thudding, I'm like, what the fuck is that? It's like, oh, it's probably like fudgy. Double battle moment, L. I don't want to double battle. <laughs> I played the soundboard again, but like I, I think I'll I think I'll save it. Biden. Also, I love how we were talking. <laughs> <laughs> That's still the only sound I have in my server. Really? Yeah, I haven't bothered. I have, I have so I have like seven in here. I have another one I will add in here mm. from the I Love It Loud performance specifically, yeah. where it's Paul at the end going yeah. I bought Soundpad, like, two weeks ago, and I have not even started it. One day I'll get it. One day. <laughs> One day I will get expensive. around to setting it up. The first sound I add to the soundboard. Yeah! Fair. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, I'll never forget the first time I heard that. I was listening to Kane's albums in order. As I do. First of all, listening to that first album, like, by the second song, I was like, I'm hooked. That, that's it. There's no turning back. What fucking song is Outlaw? I don't think it's the third. It might be fifth? Mm. I want to say fifth, because I think Triple X is third, which is very ironic, considering the title. Um, debut album. Let's see. Oh my god, I was right! <laughs> no way! Triple X actually is third and Outlaw mm. is fifth. Oh, well, that's beautiful. Well, I really hope you like the Team Galactic theme. Truthfully, I do. <laughs> because you're gonna I... be hearing that a lot. Rick is like, okay. The first time I heard the Galactic theme, because I didn't have the Gen 4 games as a kid. I started Gen 5 onward, as you did as well. Um, but my nostalgia for the Team Galactic theme comes from Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Oh yeah, I forgot that got like a theme in that game. Yeah, because you know, like Sinnoh is the most recent release with like Lucario and everything. Yeah. Which, what a weird pick. It makes in sense. They were really banking on Lucario becoming the next, uh... Wow, wow, my voice is cracking a lot tonight. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> uh. But they were banking on Lucario becoming the next what? Like, like, uh, like, uh, ah. Like, uh, they were, like, they were really banking on Lucario, like, becoming the next, like, Mascot, I want to say. Oh, kind of like Charizard in a sense? Yeah. That's kind of <laughs> what I thought, given the movie before Sinnoh even came out. Ah. Uh, oh, kind of like with Zoroark in Gen 5. Yeah. Okay. I don't know if this is the lid that fell from this bottle of water or another one. Dude, I'm I know that feeling. Like... put it on. I know that feeling too well. I think I'll just okay. leave it off. <laughs> yeah. Do you think if Brawl released, like, after Unova, they would have put Zoroark in instead of Lucario? Yeah, probably. That would have been awesome. Damn, I was robbed. Because, <laughs> like, here, I prefer Zoroark over Lucario. The typing, especially, because, like, I've always preferred dark types. Hmm. But, like, Zoroark has such a cool design. He does. Like, the Kabuki, like... Inspired look, especially when they really played it up for the Hisuian form. Mm -hmm. Like, that's fucking badass. Yeah. Like, you could tell a lot went into that design. And plus, like, the fact that it had, like, the shiny uh, Johto trio, like, the 
Beast Trio associated with it with the movie. That was pretty fucking cool, too. Mm -hmm. Like, it's not often you get, like, these, like, shiny legendary events like that, but to have, like, three, like, all in a row because of that fucking movie, like, dude, I envy people who got those. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> those are some sick fucking shinies. I think... I think Raikou has the best shiny of the three, truth be told. But, like, all of them, you can, like, tell they're shiny and they look pretty cool. Losers. Losers. Where, where the fuck did that come from? I don't know. Because that does not feel like something the game generated. Hmm. That was just something you fucking gave at some point. And I think I forgotten. might have. I think I might have. I don't remember where. <laughs> Dude, I'm going to uh. have to, like, rewatch all the episodes now. Um, well, I'm spoiled for choice, aren't I? Let's try this one. I'm on a solo album mood tonight, apparently. Wow, because... that could not have been a worse choice if I tried. I know! Like, what are the odds? <laughs> but like, um, okay, so my thing with the Kiss solos, I hope we get to the, the run with that one Pokeball. Oh, that's- this is clearly where we're meant to go. Yep, which means I gotta go through- gotta go through the- gotta go through the other one. Right. We're, we're probably gonna get that little Pokeball, which- Dude, I'm gonna be honest. I'm so easily distractible in my brain and be like, oh, I gotta get that first. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, we can heal. <laughs> the the nap It should have been Dude. unoccupied before getting into it. Oh my god. I Clearly... love flavor text like that. Right? It's so funny. Fuck, like, dude, they got a nap room? Fuck yeah, sign me up. This is the way forward. <laughs> yeah. Every workplace should have a nap room. It should. Right, like, here's the fight. I'm not even someone who takes naps. Same. I'm, like, ve I'm vehemently against taking naps for myself. Anyone else can, but if I do it, it's like, no. I generally don't, unless I am just completely exhausted. Right, like, I've had days where it's like, I probably could have. Because I'll, you ever sit, like, Watch a video, and then you find yourself getting really fucking sleepy for no reason. Yes, <laughs> dude, it sneaks up on you. It, it sneaks does. up on you. It's like, why am I tired? I slept well last night. I've eaten. I drank. What's wrong? And body's like, hee hee hee, nap. Hmm. <laughs> and Simon's just like, oh, I tired. It's like, oh, we are comfy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Like, I've had it happen, like, watching, like, a live stream before. And I woke up like, fuck, where am I? Mm. Like, you know it's a good nap when you wake up not knowing where the fuck you are. Yeah. Rick's like, okay. I remember Kane has mentioned this. <laughs> He's had moments where, like, he'll be sitting in his car, not driving, not driving, but, like, just sitting in his car doing something, and he'll, like, wake up, like, an hour later, like, what the fuck, where am I? <laughs> I see him talking about it in captions. It's so funny. I keep bringing Kane into this, as I, as I always do. <laughs> Where am I? I am uh, overturned on the highway. <laughs> You're just like, fuck. <laughs> I think yeah, a simi hit me. Yeah, the simi! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Detroit Rock City level shit. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Uh... <laughs> He had a caption recently, where it was like, uh, that face you make when, uh, you realize you don't, like, you haven't been paying attention for the last five minutes of while you're driving, I was like, oh. <laughs> 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 it was like a selfie of his. I don't think so I should be on this unmarked dirt road. Right, like, hmm, where am I? I'm on the beach. <laughs> mm -hmm. I remember being on the beach five minutes ago. Cause, you know, he lives in California. Oh my god. <laughs> this is like... Uh, <laughs> this makes me laugh way harder than it should. Ooh. How did this deer get on my front bumper? I don't remember hitting it. <laughs> oh my god, okay. <laughs> that just wrote me of a story. Okay, so my mom, my sister, and I were like driving. And like... My... <laughs> my mom kind of like swerved and like her uh, car window or van window, it was one of the two 
snagged on a tree because we were in like in these like woodsy area mm -hmm. and the mirror came off and we were just like uh oh <laughs> so we just like we're like okay if we're going to tell dad about this which we kind of have to use a mechanic we're just like okay we're just gonna say a deer happened a deer <laughs> scared us and <laughs> we joke about it to this very day it's like the deer <laughs> that's all we have to say and we know <laughs> There is uh, one specific Family Guy clip whenever I hear the word deer. Oh. And it's one making fun of, I think it was Dick Cheney. And he just shoots, uh, I don't remember who was in the cutaway. But, and he just shoots him and then he just says, sorry, I thought you were a deer. Oh my god, I, I don't remember. I don't remember the details. Uh, like, I, I can see... Him in my head, but not the character he shot. I think and that's I think aggravating. It was Peter. And yeah, it has it more than likely was Peter. Let's I, be real. It was either Peter or Brian, but I don't remember which. Ah! What the fuck? Why is there a spider in my room? Oh shit! Great, you had the wasp. It was a wasp. It was an ant. It's one of these like scary ass cellar spiders, which are totally harmless, but I don't like their big ass gangly legs. Okay, buddy. Listen, listen, friend. <laughs> I know, I know you help, but like, you can't take up residence in my bedroom. Like, go elsewhere. I saw a cockroach on my wall today. Oh no! Um, I, I did kill it. I know you're yeah. not really supposed to smush them, but I didn't know how else I was supposed to do it. I know they're practically impossible to kill. Anyway, don't go in my laundry basket. Because... Do not touch my fucking cane shirt. Yeah. Because essentially, like, you're not supposed to smush them, because they can, um, they're not clean bugs. Right, yeah. Alright. I got things to catch the spider and release it in, like, my hallway. Because I'm not gonna kill it. I'm not someone who really- it's not a poisonous spider. If it was venomous, different story. But I it's just a big Take Cyrus seriously in this game. Look at him! Right? Okay, I got the spider. The spider has been captured. He looks like a toddler. He does. Alright, let me go throw this out into, like, my hallway. And it'll throw, be done with. Throw spider in oven. Alright, spider. It's been fun, but... Oh. oh. All right. I know. Let me get my earbud back in. I know they were trying to remain faithful to the DS look. But right, but just like, look mm, at this. Which well, reason the 3DS did it way better? It did. X and Y did this way better. I don't know how they messed this up. He looks like a toddler. He does. He I think it's because like looks the like size of the head. One more juice box. Right, one more juice box. I I could care less. Damn, this guy's like on my wavelength, bro. <laughs> Fuck's sake. He he also has no eyebrows. Well, that is not on my wavelength. I got. Yeah. I'm kind of developing a bit of a unibrow here. Oh! <laughs> I mean, Lulu knows that issue, though. I don't, but that's mostly because I do take quite meticulous care of my eyebrows. You get the fully useless emotions. It's illogical and irrational. It's also L plus ratio. <laughs> this person was probably picked on as a kid. Oh, most certainly. I'd have picked on him as a kid. No, I'm not just kidding. <laughs> <out with> him. <laughs> I thought this said paying head to your heart. I was like, what? Paying head? It's like, this is a kid's game, See, Cyrus. This, this is what fun. he's supposed to look like. He doesn't look bad. He, he looks actually intimidating. I remember uh, someone had their parents guess like Pokemon antagonist ages, and they guessed Cyrus's is like 40s. And... He's like 27, I think. Like late 20s. Yeah, 
And there's like, oh, he looks like he's having a midlife crisis. He does. <laughs> he really does. And truth be told, he kind of is. I forgot how good this remix was. Holy <laughs> shit. Right, one well, of the good remixes in this game. Which how does is that a rarity. Not knock it out? Yeah, this is one beefy ass fucking Murkrow. I'm like 11 levels ahead of it, and it's a Murkrow. Its stats are not that high. Yeah. Like, I know that move wasn't super effective, but it was neutral. It wasn't, like, not very effective. To be fair, it was, like, my least powerful move, but still. Yeah, like... Acrobatics. Might be good for coverage. Yeah. It's not very powerful, though. Yeah. We could probably think of something better for coverage, like Aerial Ace or something. Can Ibrahim even learn Aerial Ace? I don't believe yeah, so. Yeah, Really? Heck, seems like it would. Huh. I, I haven't really checked, honestly. Speaking of Infernape, you ever, <laughs> you ever, okay, this might be like, I know I'm not the only one who does this, but like, in terms of me and you, this might be more of a me thing. Mm. Have you ever made like a Pokemon team for like, uh, I guess in your case might be more for like a fictional character or something? Uh. Like, oh, this person would own this Pokemon, and you know. I don't believe so, no. Okay, so I most certainly have with my favorite musicians. <laughs> <laughs> and this has been, like, <clears throat> not a new thing at all. Even as a kid, I was like, oh, you know, uh, Gene Simmons would have this Pokemon and that Pokemon, you know, like, for example. Let's see. I like how it zoomed up only for him to say, my last Pokemon. Yeah. This is what so unreasonably a funny. waste. Let's see, can you learn Aerial Ace? Let's find out. Hey, it can! Oh! Hey! I was right! Very proud moment. So, I forgot that I gave Infernape the charcoal. So somehow, that Murkrow was 11 levels below, it being a Murkrow, and it survived and it survived a charcoal-powered flame wheel yeah. from a uh, Pokemon that gets stabbed. That was one very tanky Murkrow. Like, I know these Pokemon most of the time are like, oh, they've got perfect stats in this game, mm -hmm. and these trainers. But like, come on, Murkrow? Murkrow? Really? Like, mmm. Mm. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm a little nervous toward the Elite Four. Because I do mm. know what they did to the Elite Four mm. in an update. Oh yeah. They it's decided Cynthia? to they decided that it was a good idea to give them perfect EVs. Dude, say with Cynthia. Cynthia, like, she's bad enough in the original games. Her here, even worse. I like how the bad guy just gives me a master ball with the reasoning of I don't need this anymore. But it is right. not anything that I require. You, 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 you can take this ultra rare, perfect Pokeball. All right. So he says, "I do not make Pokemon my friends," and uh, I don't use Pokemon as tools. I make the power of my Pokemon I own. I own my own. Fuck! I really am tired. <laughs> Woo! I really am. I really am out of practice with this. Jesus Christ! Like uh, someone said, um, oh, Cyrus is lying. Because his he has a crowbat, which requires friendship. But here's the thing. At one point, it is stated that his words are empty, but, like, convincing. Mm. It's like all the Team Galactic grunts are like, Oh, we believe in you, you know, yada yada. So it is totally reasonable to think that um, his crowbat was tricked into evolving with a fake friendship. Mm. So, I first Work. played Platinum yeah. at 13. This room creeped me out. Dude. This is a creepy fucking room. <laughs> yeah, I think as a kid I would have been a little unnerved, too. Like, ugh. 
I couldn't exactly tell what they were trying to do with they to do with these. And the yeah, music like, does not help. It's like what were what was their intention? What were they making? There they are. It appears to be suffering with eyes squeezed shut. Looks fine to its me. Eyes are, its eyes are always shut. With its tails twitching. Uh-huh, sure. They couldn't have made, like, interesting animations for this. With racking shoulders. <laughs> Shutters. <laughs> Shutters. Uh, God, I can't read tonight. <laughs> oh, don't worry, I can't read, ever. <laughs> I may be somewhat dyslexic. Genuinely, because it does run my family. I like uh, how the morale with even his most trusted commanders is just low. Right, like... <laughs> Let me welcome you. How about you welcome these nuts into your mouth? Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> Commander Saturn. <clears throat> Tis a shame there is no Commander Uranus, although I understand why. <laughs> yeah. You know what would, what would be cool? Like, Commander Venus. Yeah? But I think there's like a, like a rocket admin named Venus, weirdly. Imagine the jokes we could make. I know, right? Like, so close within our grasp. Bro, yet... no, he's smart. Oh no. He's smart! Do you think it has heat proof? Because there's a very real chance that it does. Oh, that's gonna suck. Oh. Oh. There we go. I can't remember if heat proof makes it totally immune to fire moves or just like it makes it resist it. I didn't think. I didn't think he had the capability to switch. Hey, we're getting, like, smart trainers. That's kind of scary. I'm gonna use a super Sad. effective move on a Pokemon that has, like, 1 HP. Right. Or, I like, was about to 10 HP. Hmm? I was gonna reference, uh, what the fuck? Fuck you! <laughs> Fuck you! Uh oh. Oh, that's par fighting. Uh oh. Okay. He. Okay. He wants to play this game. Okay. That is insane. I'm not in the mood for this song right now. Okay. Why is he smart? Okay. He shouldn't be smart. That's scary. I don't like it. Hmm? Okay, more for Ellie's comment. You know, I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> no, I air lace, because you know he'll switch like midway through if you're not careful. Yeah, I was thinking of using fly, but yeah, nah. <laughs> like, I don't think he can switch again though. I think this. Nah. I think Dev. I think Dev is truly his last this time. Yeah. There we go. Hey. I was not expecting that. Not gonna lie, I was not expecting that. Once again, wishing that, like, you know... <laughs> I've been, like, noticing a lot of stuff about, like, Ace Fraley's life performances recently. Because I've been seeing a lot of clips of it. It's... sad. Um... I'm glad I saw him when I did, because when I saw him, he did really good. I was, I had mild disappointment in the set list, consisting of more Kiss songs than his own original stuff. But like to see him live at all was nice. I kind of like this look. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, that's a very cool outfit. The hairstyle is pretty fucking killer too. Just gonna do something real quick. Oh, what you doing? Uh, I gotta disable streamer mode first. Thank you, Discord. Ah, typical. Discord moment. <laughs> yeah, fucking Discord moment. Wait. 
There we go. Where's Bear Discord? Where the fuck did my Bear Discord go? Hold on! I stopped using Better Discord, like, a while ago. Have it up! What the hell? Where is my cane, damn it? Press the button and set them free. Isn't that why you came? <laughs> what the? I'm a child. <laughs> but maybe <laughs> I don't want to set them free. Maybe I don't want to, Saturn. Maybe I just came to mess with you. <laughs> You're right. Maybe I just came to do a little trolling. A little bamboozling, a little tomfoolery. I can't believe my better will. Discord's fucked right now. What the hell? Yeah, that sounds a lot like better Discord. Because I was like, wait, this isn't purple. <laughs> if it because if it doesn't work, it never works. Yeah. That's kind of why I stopped using it because the only reason I used it was for themes because Discord's normal dark mode is genuinely unusable. Me, I like customizing my shit. It also, you know, the Spotify thing. Hmm. Which now I realize it, there is a very real chance that I'm going to get fucked over at any time. My uh. So my headcanon is that Saturn kidnapped the other scientists in here, and he took them and just disappeared. Yeah! Sounds about right, I'll, I'll be honest, this sounds canon. Because <laughs> I don't think you see him again until the post-game. I think that's the last time you see him in the main game. Damn. Wait, as I was saying about, like, Ace's performances, um... Because, like, they've been deteriorating. And it makes me sad to say, because, like, Ace was always my favorite as a kid. And while he's always had, like, moments of, like, ah, you fucking jackass. You know how I am with Kiss. They're jackasses, but they're my jackasses. Mm. That sentiment is something that is especially true with Ace. Um. But, like, hearing his performances lately, it's like... I think all the years mm. of, like, him not taking care of himself in the past are catching up to him. Yeah. That makes sense. Right, some people are speculating, like, oh, maybe he's, like, off the wagon again. Or, like, oh, there's something else going on. It's like, I... I want it to just be age. Because while there are other musicians that are older than him, hmm. or just, like, his age in general, that are performing as well as they... like, way better than Ace is right now, a lot of the time, they haven't fucking, you know, abused themselves nearly as much as Ace has. Because, like, Alice Cooper, he had drug problems, but nowhere near as long as Ace. Because mm -hmm. Alice got sober in the 80s, like, by 1984 and 1985. Mm -hmm. Speak of the devil. Well, it's time for Mount Coronet. <laughs> Speak of the devil, I just got Alice. If I shuffle, specifically in the 80s after he got sober with The Nightmare Returns, which this performance, okay. I, just, I don't think I ever sent it in my server here. But, um. Uh. So, Pokemon Sleep, I've been using like the fucking Pokeball thing, which doesn't pick up my uh, microphone shit, which makes me sad. So, mm. as soon as I finish this Pokemon Go thing with Pokeball Plus, whatever the fuck it's called. I'm not using it to track my sleep anymore, because the alarm clock is, like, off, which I presume it's using standard time rather than daylight time for some reason. But also, um, I got this little snippet of music caught in, like, the recording. Mm hmm And I recognized it. It was Kane's solo in School's Out for The Nightmare Returns, because someone roomed by and because the guitar solo was, like, at the right frequency to keep picking up, mm -hmm. it did. <laughs> so it caught the very tail end of his solo. I forgot what way you have to go in Mount Coronet. In order to reach the- in order to reach the peak. God, I have no idea. Will let me send this? I'm hoping it does. Sinnoh has some very confusing map design at times. Oh, fuck, it actually might let me send it. A bottle That's... of protein. Delicious. And I guess we'll... Which, again, funny timing with what we were just talking <laughs> about. 
This game knows to pick its timing. It there we does. go, there's the vid. <laughs> so you can check that little <laughs> snippet out later. It's yeah. so funny. <laughs> I don't think it can be understated how useless of a move Rock Climb is in battle. It What's it even do in battle? Um, it has, like, horrific accuracy, so it'll never hit. So... Oh my god! It's basically just strength, but worse. Yeah, it's got 85 accuracy, which means it will never hit. <laughs> god. Ever. I played those recordings as I woke up, and I was just like, oh, these all sound really quiet, because I didn't have my volume very high. <laughs> and I played them again later with earbuds, and I was like, that school's out! <laughs> that's that's cool. fucking- that's Kane Solo! It's so funny to me. I love how you can just push your Pokemon. It is amazing. Like, oh my god. If they had just made it like it was in, like, Heart Gold, Soul Silver, this would not have been an issue, but they just can't do that. Yeah, they just have to use 3D models. Right, like, even 3D models, you could probably manage to make it kind of like, you know... Yeah. It would probably be a bit harder to do, but yeah, they... Like, definitely they doable. Could. But, you know, it's not worth the effort. You know how Pokemon in Game Freak is. I'm gonna be honest, I, I, I'm of the opinion that they shouldn't have bothered. Yeah, like, I think they, if they really wanted, like, 3D models, um, they could have just used it for, like, the main battles and had the overworld be, like, sprites. Yeah. Because lots of games do that, to my knowledge. So it's like... Also, sprites just look better. I am just yeah. gonna be that guy. Yeah, th like, you could stylize those way easier than a 3D model. It's easier to stylize 2D art over 3D art. That's why the side mouth on Sonic only works in 2D. <laughs> Take that, Sonic fanbase. Fuck you and fuck your side mouth bullshit. Every time I said that I didn't like the side mouth, I got shat on every fucking time. It's like, oh, what, you like how Sonic looks like he's got a broken jaw? I'll break your jaw. Fuck you. Center mouth... Center, yeah. center mouth all the way. Yeah, every time I said, oh, the center mouth makes more sense. It looks weird. It looks fine in the Sonic and Mario Olympic Games thing. Where he has a center mouth. I God, like the female just... grunt hair looks like Lulu's hair. <laughs> <laughs> I like how I just knew that Max Revive is just sitting there. Right? Like, you just knew. You sensed it. I figured there was something around there. Team Galactic Grunt. Oh, you're gonna die. Right, you're gonna get fucking obliterated. I remember just naming my um, chip chart and Pokemon Diamond uh, Gorilla after one of Kane's songs, and I'm hearing Kane solo go off in this song. <laughs> Monkey. <laughs> Monkey. Where were you in Monkey Tournament? I've been referencing thrill my gorilla constantly lately <laughs> to the point where Sora and Lulu also have picked up on using it as well it's so funny I don't accept this I will not accept this you Too will that you will accept it join team galactic and then abide by our old fuck you I, I abide I by no one's rules that. <laughs> that would solve all our problems yeah no shit I'm kind of your only problem here right and you're kind of failing God has let me live another day, and I am making it your problem. It's Team Galactic's time now. Uh-huh. Sure. <laughs> I really like when the Galactic Grunt said, It's Galactic time. <laughs> <laughs> it's Galactic time! And then it galacted all over the place. <laughs> yeah! Dude, the first time I heard that fucking meme, I was like, Is that actually in the movie? And it's like, no, it's not actually in the movie. But the fact that it seems so believable says a lot about that fucking movie. Like, I've never seen Morbius. I never will. I've seen a very really low-quality version of Morbius. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. I still have it. Really? That's amazing. I, 
I need to find it, and I don't remember what it's called, but I do still have it. The quest for low-quality Morbius. Ooh. Ooh. Footsteps. Ooh, this sounds good. Why couldn't all the music be like this? No. You remember how they had to put all the music properly in with a day one patch? I like how now it's just called DS Sounds. Oh, no, no, I mean, like, not just MIDI tracks for the remixes. Yeah. <laughs> it's Which, amazing. How does that happen? I don't even know what they were thinking. That's just inexcusable. I try to find something in the grass. Yeah, I forgot what's here. Buff man. Buff man. If it's a girl, it's actually the rarer one because it's more male than female. Watch this one be female. Hunk. I was joking. I was joking. <laughs> I'm gonna be totally real. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> I'm gonna be real. Okay, Machoke does not have a gender difference. That was just me fucking around. <laughs> I will be oh. doing something with the Master Ball, and it will, it's not going to be catching Dialga. Will it be Giratina? No. <laughs> I th Why did I skip this song? I no, like this song. I, I just... think you know what it's going to be. Oh, no. Level 100 Magikarp, which you can actually fish up. You can fish up a level 100 Magikarp. Oh god. I've seen people actually do it. There, there's this one uh, Pokemon YouTuber that I've been watching a lot lately. It's uh, Absol. Uh, Absol blogs Pokemon. Mm. And he has this like level 100 gauntlet where he'll do like... He'll get a Pokemon to level 100 in the most like bizarre ways possible. Do I even have a fishing rod? I don't think I grabbed any of them. Oh, I do. You have a good rod. Oh, I wanted to use the old rod. <laughs> What'd you get, Feeboss? That would be really funny. <laughs> right, like, I, you'd, you'd have to catch it at that point just for the sake of it. Because the thing about the Feeboss tiles in this game is, like, not only are they random, but they reset every day. You know... I think, I think Magikarp is a bit overplayed. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Dude, can you make the thumbnail bar which was caught with the Master Ball? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> that is the most beautiful thing Just that has happened in any of these playthroughs. Completely piss someone off with the thumbnail. Right? Oh my god. It'll be the best. They'll be like, there, that's photoshopped, right? Nuh-uh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wait, are you naming it Jesus Fish? <laughs> ah. Oh. Jesus. Two. No, I'm not sitting at the party. Ah. Uh. I'm probably gonna regret that. That'll be funny. <laughs> Fortunately, save scumming exists, so True. I don't feel too bad. Nah. That's funny. Hmm? Uh, the legendaries are not shiny locked. Huh. So, um... I really should... Stock, <laughs> stock up on Pokeballs in the on case that you have to save scum and you get a shiny. I, think, a, uh, I also think this still uses the, uh... Older... Original catch rate? I still think this uses the older logic when it comes to box legendaries. 
Because I don't think that was until, like, black and white where they started yeah. easing up on that. Uh, well, black and white is when, like, the Shia Lock bullshit started. It's so, like, in the original Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum, you could get the box of Jadari Shiny. Yeah. And what's funny is that, like, okay. I think uh, in Gen 5, for whatever reason. To catch, though. Yeah. And for, in Gen 5, for whatever reason, a Kirib is not shiny locked. Despite huh. it being technically a box legendary layer off, they don't shiny lock it in uh, Black 2, White 2. Huh. I'm not sure why this is, but as a result, you get like a shiny uh, Kirib fusion. I'm curious. Huh. I did not know that. Yeah, it's quite weird. I'm pretty sure if one of them is shiny, regardless of who it is, the fusion will be shiny. Hmm. If I'm not mistaken, I could be mistaken, because I've never done that. I do have a shiny Kyurem, which I shiny hunted in not black and white, you know, those games, mm -hmm. but rather in Ultra Moon. Uh... Shiny Kyurem fusion. Why well, did you use a shiny Kyurem? Dust stocks. It's still so weird seeing them use dust stocks. It's also seal. It's also so weird seeing their levels like not at like the. But like the lower to mid forties, like that, like it is in platinum. Huh. I wonder why that is. I, the you know the change. Okay, so if the Kyurem is shiny, then the fusion will be shiny. Almost everything comes from the Kyurem. EVs, IVs, level and shininess. Mm. All mm. right. So this begs the question as to um. If the restaurant is shiny, which I'm going to presume not, if it's specifying, oh, the EVs and everything come from Kyurem. Hmm. So yeah, you can have a shiny Kyurem fusion in uh, the original games. Speaking <laughs> of the Kyurem fusion, um, in the scene where he's about to fuse them, yes, there's a line right. that says Kyurem use Abzo fusion. That's not a, an actual move. And oh, yeah, it's I not. spent I spent a long time as a kid trying to make uh Kiram learn it. Oh my god. Dude, uh, as a kid I was Only like, oh, for he's... it to just not it actually exist. As a kid when I played it, I was like, oh, oh he's just fusing them. You know, I took it at very face value, but then you're like there's a move called that? <laughs> Which is a very reasonable conclusion to come to, if I I'm honest. It was a move. Or like, it makes sense. Which, by the way, the fact that Getsus tries to fucking kill you. It's amazing. Like, good god. What Gen a first game for me to play. Gen 5 oh, yeah. went hardcore. What a game. What a generation for us to start out with. What, what a game. What a sauce. <laughs> yeah, what a game. What a sauce. Maybe getting rid of Flame Wheel was a mistake. I'm just throwing that out there. Is Flame Wheel stronger than Flamethrower? No, it's stronger than Acrobatics. Uh, yeah. Oh well, I think he's gonna learn Flare Blitz at any point. Yeah. Just not yet. No, no, we can't have that yet. Okay, this has gotta be a better move I can teach him. No, because that's never going to hit. Hmm. I said for teaching him cut. 
<laughs> that would be really funny. Right. Could teach him a trick, nah. I like how I don't have a single Pokemon that can learn Psychic. Or Dazzling Gleam. Or Dazzling Gleam. <laughs> if I was- If I was playing, I wouldn't even be able to get Sableye. Who am I fucking kidding? <laughs> he can't learn Drain Punch? Really? Yeah. Yeah, what? it's weird. Okay. But Gastrodon can. We go back to Drain Punch. Can't really. There's no way it actually can. Okay, I that was would have I been mistaken for a different really <laughs> funny if Gastrodon could learn it, but Infernape right. couldn't. Dude, I kinda wish that was the case. Might as well I'll just teach him I'll just teach him Shadow Claw. Like, does Absol already have it? Sure. But yeah. like listen. It's better than acrobatics. Right, like we're in a dire situation. <laughs> and it'd be good to have him have something. Skill swap. I have never understood this move, and I don't want to. Yeah. Iron Tail, which never hits. I... Flash Cannon. Can any of our Pokemon learn Flash Cannon? Uh. It's up a couple. No. Nope. It's always the case. Every Pokemon I've used cannot learn that move. It pisses me off. I once had a Magneton in my party from in Black and White too, that could learn it. Oh! Did you ever get Magnazone as a result? I think I ditched him before he, oh. before he evolved. Oh, you have to use a Thunderstone, I think. Uh, I believe you have to go into the same area. I think you have to go into, like, the, uh, el the electrically charged areas. Oh, right, that is also one. I think Blair on there, like, oh, we can't always put an electric area in these, uh, regions for whatever reason. Let's just make it Thunderstone. So what is the point of this rock collection? Is it just for set dressing? M maybe. I or don't... maybe there's like, hmm. maybe Pokemon encounters. What? <laughs> Who's leaving candy on rocks? <laughs> I just want... I just... Uh, we'll just, uh... Yeah. Who do I want to use it on? Let's see who's furthest from leveling up. I'll just do that. Yeah. And that's Yep, Infernape. Hmm. I'm just gonna save it. Yeah. Might be good to save it for later. Because, um... Some downstairs. of the other Pokemon kind of need it. Well, I mean, those do kind of count as stairs. <laughs> Organic stairs, if you will. Hmm. But like, you're telling me a kid can't climb up those fucking rocks? I can't as an adult. <laughs> as a kid, I was climbing everything. As an adult, I still climb everything. I was never really a climber. I basically grew up in the woods, so that might explain mm. it. <laughs> yeah. Cause like, you- you were like in a trailer park. Or um, I presume there's not, not a whole lot to climb. White. I was in a- Not quite- I- So, we did have our own lot as I was a teenager, but I- I did live in a house as like a really young kid. It was oh like God, a very run just down on. house in the- in, like, an in, uh, oil field country, but it was a house. Ooh. Because, like, okay, I've always lived in, like, you know, regular houses, pretty much. Um, I... I accidentally paused my music somehow. That's what I get for playing with my remote. But, um, uh, my first two houses, you know, I grew... <laughs> As I've mentioned here, but not, like, in a video, I don't believe, um... Technically, because of the populations of the places I live, they were villages. Ah. Uh. <laughs> so, like, yeah. you know, I always joked as a kid, I was like, oh, I'm like the Journey Song, small town girl. It's like, I'm not a fucking small town girl, I'm a village people. Yeah. Call me fucking macho man. <laughs> yeah, for the first 15, yeah, for the first, like, 12-ish years of my life, um, 
I did live in a house. It was a very run-down house in a very rural-ish neighborhood. Right. And then in my teenage years, I lived in a trailer on my stepdad's grandfather's property. That is a mouthful. <laughs> Damn, yeah, that is a mouthful. I think my grandparents... And around the same area. But, like, specifically my grandma on my dad's side. And, and uh, then about three years ago, I moved where I am now, which is just the city. Like, I technically live in a, a city now. Like, it's fine. I just don't like living in Tennessee. Like, I'd rather live in, like, a small town that's near a city, that be which would mean, like, I don't have to drive too far to get all the cool stuff. But, like, I can still retreat to a nice, quiet area. That is kind of my plan moving forward. And that's why I want to move to Nevada. Yeah. Because, like, I can live kind of near the Vegas area, which is more kind of south-ish. Mm. But, like, still have, like, a small town where it's, like, kind of cheaper. <laughs> yeah. Because out west is kind of expensive. But I don't want to go, like, up north in Maine because, like, musicians never play there. I don't want to be in the south because it fucking sucks here. Mm. Which is not wrong, because you're from the South. I'm, you know, again, up Maine. Yep, very I am... Northern. Yep. Yep. I am Texas, born and raised. I was born further south than I am now. I am a fucking Yankee. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was born in South Maine. So, like, I, I've always, I always lived, like, right near the ocean. In fact, my first house, um, I could actually walk through the woods and see the ocean. There was, like, seaweed and everything. So, my grandfather and our neighbor, who is my grandfather's friend, uh, we would, like, go on walks down this, like, uh, rocky road, and we would, like, see this, like, little abandoned sort of house and an ocean. It was really cool. Um, that neighbor is no longer alive. I remember when he passed away, I was quite sad about it, because, you know, he's, like, pretty much, like, a member of the family mm -hmm. in my eyes. Like, I still remember, like, his phone number... Which I obviously won't say for obvious reasons, because that's probably someone else's now. Dox him, dox them, dox yeah. them. <laughs> <laughs> but like, I remember like calling him and like, we got him with like the underwear joke once. And every time he would answer, it'd be like, yellow. <laughs> you know, like he would say hello like that. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I don't even remember like what state he was from. But he certainly wasn't from Maine, because he didn't have that accent. And if he was from Maine, he was like, Older than my grampy, so like my grampy has a really thick Maine accent. Mm. So it's like you know, cocky. Like we had a dog named Corky, mm. but like he almost said like cocky. So it's like very strong Maine accent. Whenever someone like jokes like "Oh, Baja, the wicked lobster," it's like yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like first of all, I did live near Bar Harbor and I've been there quite a few times. Second of all, I had birthday lobster, mm. and it was wicked good. Mm -hmm. I miss it. Because <laughs> now, if you want lobster here, it's like, wicked fucking expensive. Gotta and now that I've made the wicked- Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, at least, I don't even know how expensive lobster here is now that I think about it. Right, like, because, like, okay, in Walmart here, sometimes they'll have, like, lobster, right? Which, they're always so small. In Maine, they would have just thrown those back in the ocean to grow more. Mm -hmm. It's fucked. They're, like, snack size. I was having fucking ugh, three pound lobsters for three dollars, because it was, like, a dollar a pound. Mm. It was cheap, and it was, like, the good shit, because, like, Every, like, fancy-ass restaurant is like, oh, Maine Lobster. It's like, you're telling me I had the gourmet shit and didn't know? Mm -hmm. Like, bro. Here, uh, yeah, here it's like, what, like, 20 bucks a pound on a good day? <laughs> <laughs> right, like, when it's, like, in season. <laughs> if that. Yeah. Uh, it's insane. Okay, clearly this is not the way forward. This is the wrong room. This is the wrong room. Give me the bird. Oh, no hi, Mark. No way. Oh, hi, Mark. 
I sort of... All it takes is one reference for both of us to just turn into living soundboards. <laughs> I love the room so much. Dude, there's some stuff... I remember uh, people kept uh, mistaking Jean for the actor from that, Tommy Wiseau. And Jean was like, I am not to uh, Tommy Wiseau, shut up! That is such an insult. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, Jean got really defensive about it. And like, you know, I've mentioned this, I think, Jean has a big fucking ego. Mm. Like, don't get me wrong, he has like a heart of gold. He's like a decent guy. He said some stupid shit. I'm sure someone could be like, oh, but he said this shitty thing and that shitty thing. Okay, well, I know Gene has done fucked up shit, but like, ugh. I'd, I'd still trust him in a room alone, because like, he's like mellowed out as he's gotten older. You know, he's got a wife and kids. Yeah. Here's I mean, will I get the licked? problem. Yeah? Everybody has said shitty things. Oh, yeah. And sometimes it keeps you up late at night when you should be sleeping, and you're just like, Ugh, I said that like five years ago, please stop making me think about it. <laughs> yes. It's the worst. It's the worst. I have said some fucked up shit in the past that I, that I regret. I'll think about shit I've said too, like... It's like, God, I could have said something way different. I could have said something better. It's like, ugh, but I don't want to think about it. Because... So I want to be reminded of it. It's like, I've learned since then. If you hear any noises, that's because I'm doing workouts in the middle of this. Go figure. You're spoiling the atmosphere. <laughs> <laughs> spoiling the atmosphere of my workouts. Uh, what song is up next? Thank you, Team hey, Galactic. Real cool. Hey, speak of the devil, it's a Gene song with fits like a glove. <laughs> But like, yeah, in short, um, all a kiss is a bunch of jackasses, but like, they're my jackasses. Which is so funny to think that there is seriously not a time in my life where I can remember not having kiss. Because mm. like, again, I literally had their albums above my crib as a baby. <laughs> which is like the most, you know, me thing ever. Most of my childhood uh, memories involve KISS to some degree. Like, I'll see KISS performances that were on, like, the Kissology uh, disc sets and be like, Oh my god, this was my fucking childhood. Because mm. I saw one on uh, Instagram. And I was like, holy shit, it's the fucking, like, Lost Alive 2 performance. It was specifically the song Take Me, which is like the main one I remember the most for some reason. Because I was like, oh, I really like this song. I've never actually heard the album, <laughs> you know? Because I didn't have the albums half the fucking time. Mm. Nowadays, you know, they're so much more accessible. Because, you know, YouTube. Even though I had YouTube at that time, I was mostly just watching the music videos. I didn't know half these fucking songs that existed, because most of the time, they didn't make themselves apparent. Mm. And I don't own most of the Kissology discs sets anymore, because, you know, I was a kid, and I didn't take good care of it. But I do have, uh, Volume 3, which is funny, because it has the Alive 3 performance. And, um, Kane knows that performance, because they performed, uh, Take It Off, which he co-wrote. Mm -hmm. I need to, like, watch back through, uh, this volume of Kissology just to have a photo, like, Okay, look what I'm watching! <laughs> Can I just not use vitamins on these anymore? That very well could be it. Oh well. Oh, I could sell them for a decent amount. Right. And you can't do anything alone. Au contraire. Yes, right. I can. Right, we could kick your ass, motherfucker. The funny thing about bodybuilding is when, like, you don't take progress photos, so, like, <laughs> you, you don't realize how much muscle you've gained. And it's like, I'll feel the muscle sometimes. It's like, oh, that certainly was not there before. Mm. Ugh, it tastes a leg day. Yeah. 
I'm uh, very weird when it comes to how when it comes to how I build muscle. I can gain it very quickly, but it will just go away as soon as I stop caring. Um, I think that's actually um mostly like a guy, you know, assigned male at birth thing. Mm. Cause, cause with women, you know, people assign female at uh, the, the female at birth. You know, just clarifying, because this does go for like, you know, like a trans man mm -hmm. who you know hasn't transitioned probably would struggle with this as well. Um, gaining muscle for you know someone like me, um, not particularly like easy, but like if I have to stop working out for a while, it'll stay a lot longer as well. It's something with like you know hormonal stuff. Yeah. Kind of pee pee up. <laughs> it, it's very strange. Human bodies are very fucking weird. Plus, like, I, I work out literally, like, six days a week. Every time I tell people, like, oh, how much I work out, they're like, what? I how? Couldn't. It's like... I just it's like, it's like... I don't have the energy. <laughs> I I do, by some miracle. Ugh. But also, it's like a routine thing for me. And once I get into a routine, it's like, that that's there forever. Mm. I'm very routine-driven. Ugh, I hate this fucking bug bite stuff. Okay, every time I go outside, I go outside barefoot, and then my feet get bitten up. <laughs> it's annoying as shit. So, I was half hoping this wasn't gonna take as long, so that I could do the 8th gym. No. Yeah. I had a feeling. Pokemon Sleep's probably gonna bitch at me, but it's like, whatever. I mean, granted, if I get all my routine stuff done, and, like, if this VC doesn't go on super long afterwards, which, you know how we are. Yeah. Talk about a bunch of bullshit. Yeah, Mostly we talk I about King. get to work in the morning, so that's probably not gonna happen. Eh, yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. So, maybe I can just barely beat the clock if I do my routine quick enough. And... I'm almost done with my routine. Almost. I could but not I'm going to Pokemon be on the floor. sleep, honestly. Like the idea of it kind of makes me it makes me uncomfortable. Yeah, that's fair because it does kind of record. It deletes the recordings after like a very short time. Like I want to say a day. Hmm. But like I can understand someone being like, "Oh, that's very fucking yikesy." But if you don't want it recording your sleep, like the noises in your sleep, um, you can actually uh use the that Pokemon Go Plus accessory, which. Hmm. You know, like fifty dollars, which is fucking stupid for an accessory. It's but Nintendo. Like, I'm not surprised. Yeah, it's Nintendo. So like that is a good way to get around it. So if you don't want to like have the recordings, um, <laughs> mm. I'm sorry. I, okay, I have a Bell Sprout. Which, by the way, Bell Sprout is legit one of my favorite uh, Unova poke. Not Unova. Good God, why did I say Unova? Kanto Pokemon. Spear pillar with the uh, brilliant pillar. with the uh, brilliant brilliant with legends Arceus now under my belt. This uh, this area just feels different. Oh yeah, cause like, is it cause like you know the origins or is it like uh like the vibes of the game? Hmm. Yeah, kind of both. Yeah. Which the fact that we got to see spear pillar before like it got destroyed. Mm -hmm. That's so like fucking cool to me. Yeah. Like, they didn't have to do that, but they did. I really want to play Platinum again, but I want to try the map randomizer. Or the entrance randomizer. Ooh. Ooh. I remember so seeing someone do a map entrance randomizer in uh, Pokemon Black 2, White 2. And at one point, they entered the Cynthia room in Mandela. <laughs> and they were like, uh-oh. It was, like, super early on in the game. They're just stuck in a battle with a person with, like, level 75 <laughs> yeah. Pokemon. Dude, their reaction was priceless. I haven't been able to find the clip since, and I'm so sad. Because I want to find it. If I ever find it again, I'm going to have to, like, clip it as fast as I can and send it here. God, my Spotify is in, like, an ace frailing mood tonight. What the fuck? Which, that rant about the three classic albums again. My point still fucking stands. I'm going to be totally real with you. It stands even more after having you and LSD be, like, you know, like, agree with my points, because I was like, 
Does this sound stupid? Every time I rant about something, I'm like, this could sound stupid. But then when someone's like, oh no, you're totally justified, I'm like, really? Mm. <laughs> and then it fucking amps me up way more. <laughs> it's very easy to just get me going, and then it's very hard to get me to stop. <laughs> it's like, lie on the floor, do some of these workouts. <laughs> Ouch, that one attack. Alright, fuck. Due to both the recoil and but aftermath. Dude, Ouch. very rare, very rarely do I use moves with recoil. Cause like, I feel like I can always get a better move, but I do have one case where I did. I have double edge on an Optigoon holding a silk mm. scarf with the ability Reckless, which makes self damaging Ouch. moves do more damage to the opponent. Yeah, I felt that. That hurt. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that sounded painful. Oh, I can use that rare candy now. Right. Because, uh... It's perfect. Mammoth Swine really needs it. Yeah, because I'm about to level up. I can't see the screen right yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah, it did. And it's at the lowest level. By a fairly Jesus. decent amount. Poor Mammoth Swine. It's like seven levels behind. Where Who's your favorite Sinnoh Pokemon, anyway? Um... I'm tempted to say Luminion because I think it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> because nobody I, knows what that is. I, I love its cry. It's got a very fun cry. Um... um I don't know. There's honestly a lot of good ones. Yeah. Um... Jeez, I'm trying to remember some. Weavile. I really like Weavile. Hmm. Yeah? Weavile's always been a favorite for me. <laughs> um, I really I like Rhyperior. Like, I really, really like... like Dude, Rhyperior, Rhyperior is a fucking unit. I love him. It really didn't need that further evolution, but I'm glad it got it. Because right, Rhydon it... was already a unit. Oh, yeah. Like, that was a complete line, and they were like, Hey, can we take it a step further? And they did. Shiny Rhyperior is pretty cool, too. Because mm. it goes from orange to yellow. Um... Ooh, the Stunky line, that's another favorite. Mm. Have you noticed that my- <laughs> A lot of my favorites are, um, kind of muscling Pokemon. Because, you know, I can't get enough of the little stinky bastard man. Ooh, look at those- Look at the effects from the DS. Or the RGB. Dialga. The ancient deity of time. Isn't it funny how Palkia looks like a penis? <laughs> <laughs> penis Palkia, penis Palkia. If only I could nickname it. I mean, you could in Gen 4. Yeah. And then Gen 5 added that filter. Isn't it <laughs> them censored ravioli for the longest time? Because it unfortunately had like the French word for rape in it. Oh my god. Like the filter worked, but a little too well. You don't think you can just run off now, do you? Uh, yes, yes, I can. I do, I do. I also think my cowards. voice can crack for the 4,000th time. I know. <laughs> what is with it tonight? The <laughs> voice crack counter. <laughs> Uh, if I care I enough to actually edit, I might put that in. Right, <laughs> it'd be so perfect. I wouldn't get my helps up though, because I'd have to care to actually edit. See, if I was like the one editing, I certainly would, because I care too much about editing. You yeah. saw how long it took me to do the Poke Pepsi New York review. I'm just but... really lazy. <laughs> I'm I'm very meticulous when it comes to the shit I do. Okay, well, actually, I take that back. I'm really lazy unless I have motivation. Yeah, like, once that motivation hits, it's like, there's nothing that can stop you. Yeah. If you stop, then the laziness strikes again. I could not think of a worse Pokemon he could have sent out. 
Who do you send out? Munchlax. Oh no. <laughs> Munchlax is gonna get fucking annihilated. <laughs> there it goes. Boink boink. I had to do it to him. You know you had to do it to him. Like, uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> this might have been a problem. Oh no. Oh my god, they're setting up! That is fucking horrifying! Two Bronzor! That is not much better. Alright, because they're more special attackers Just than Just send out Empoleon! That's all you have to do, to send out Empoleon. You can do it. <clears throat> Oh god, my voice is cracking tonight. Yeah, it's like, your voice is not up for it, but it's like, would you rather have your voice not be up for it, or your stomach? <laughs> yep, I can tell I haven't really done this in a while. Right, like... It's just like, oh boy. Mm. Oh, great, now we're both confused. Man, the other kicks ass. I have a song going from it. Uh, it's just a boy. Mm. Fun fact about uh, The Elder, the original release actually had the songs in a different order than the remaster. The remaster has them in the proper order because they actually cross-fade into each other. Huh. But for some reason, I think they were still under Casablanca at this time, I believe. For some reason, they put in a different order and it's like, that wasn't what we planned, so when they remastered it, you know, they were like, okay, now we have it in the right order. So it starts with fanfare, fades into Just a Boy. Does it fade? It fades into Odyssey, and I think the Oath. Mm. And then... I think it fades into... Only You. And Under the Rose, then Mr. Blackwell. And then Dark Light. Escape from the island, I, and then there's like a little like dialogue interlude, which is meant to like show the story of the elder. Mm -hmm. Let's see how right I was. <laughs> I'll laugh if I was spot on. Oh well, he actually withdrew Star Raptor. Oh no, they're both smart. Uh oh, no more smart trainers. Hey, what's Casablanca? I will say one good change that I think they did make from the original is that the AI seems. More competent. Oh my god, I forgot World Without Heroes, and I was like, also totally off. Like, the AI is definitely more competent. Granted, okay. I, granted, I don't think that's too much of a compliment, because the AI should be more competent, but still. Alright, so here's the actual order. I was. I was spot on until, um, Odyssey. Mm. And then Escape from the Island and I were right. But it's actually Fanfare, Just a Boy, Odyssey, Only You, Under the Rose, Dark Light, A World Without Heroes, which I totally forgot in the track list, um, The Oath, Mr. Blackwell, Escape from the Island, and then I. That's the remastered one. Mm. It's very strange. But also, you know... The Elder is a strange album, but I love it, so... Hmm. Pure Ugly's model in particular just looks weird. Yeah! I don't like it. Pure Ugly? Pure Ugly, Pure Ugly. Now, <laughs> now I can't tell how it's pronounced, because I'm be like, which one of us is right? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> It could be either of us. That's it what scares could. me. That's what scares me the most. Like, okay, Weavile? It could also be Weevil, because I've heard it in Brawl say, like, Weevil. But that omits the vile pun? So Weavile makes a little more sense to me? Why Ooh, I want to see if you get this. I want to see if you get this pronunciation right. Uh, what evolved into camera? Uh, what evolves into Camerupt? Yes. Uh, Numel? 
It's actually Numble, because it's the Num Pokemon. Bruh. Yeah! I hated that. I realized it one- I, I realized it one day when I saw a Dex entry, I'm like, wait, wouldn't it be Numble? <laughs> Not Numel, as I always said it. Oh. That was a very recent realization, too. Well, now I can afford to do the funny thing. Oh? Since there's only one goal bat. And just... <gasps> destroy his dreams. Oh my god, the return. I should have known. Um, Infernape's gonna go down in the process, but that's fine. Yeah, it's funny. But, yeah, because there's only a single Golbat left. So, that's fine. Monkey! Monkey! Alright, leg workouts are done, I just have a couple of ones to do. Which is pretty much, you know, just a couple. Which hardly takes me any time. Oh yeah, I forgot he has a full team now, this is gonna be annoying. Of course, just can I do my workouts like this? Leer? You used Leer? What an asshole! Yeah, you're going down. <laughs> right, like, you've earned it at this point, motherfucker. U turn? That's not gonna help you, you have no one to switch to. Right? You ever test if something is glass by, like, nibbling it? Test? Or hitting your tooth on it? Uh, no, can't say I do. Well, it works. Hmm. Like, without fail. You'll be able to tell. Because I got these, like, bead things, because they're pretty, right? And mm -hmm. it says, uh, you know, glass. I'm like, is it really? So I go, hey, yeah, yeah. and it's like, yep, that's glass. <laughs> <laughs> it's a surefire way. Like, to anyone who's watching this, I guarantee you, if you do it, you will find that you'll know if it's glass or not. Mm. Like, you can feel the difference. So that's where that bag of beads went. No! Okay, thank god. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was gonna- I thought he was gonna get the last hit in. Right? Oh my god, can you imagine? I couldn't let that happen. <laughs> you ever play with a bag of beads? Of beads? Yeah! Yeah, yeah, a long time ago. I found one. It feels very nice. Because, mm. okay, it was inside of a plushie, but the ferrets tore it out. I mean, it was already falling out anyway. But, like, I was like, where did this bag of beads go? I remember there being a bag in there. Because it was, like, this plushy fox that I keep needing to stitch up. But every time I stitch it up, it just unstitches itself for some fucking reason. I can't seem to stitch it right, even though normally I can stitch things up just fine. It must just be, like, eh, there must be something. But, the you know, AI like... cooperated. It didn't. It didn't kill him. Yay! Oh my god. Bye, lol. That's his last one. Nah. <laughs> get fucked. Get fucked. All it took was severely harming my Luxray and killing off my Infernape. Right. A small price to pay for the funny. I'd be very bad in those locks. Right? Oh my god. It would consist of you fucking around and finding out. Because I couldn't, like, I wouldn't be able to control myself. Or just no self control. Do you remember when I rewound Kiss's song Danger and it sounded like Parsnip? Uh, can't say anything. <laughs> I got I deleted that video on YouTube ages ago, but I gotta make- mm -hmm. I gotta do it again. Cause like, I deleted a bunch of videos off my YouTube channel, and I accidentally deleted Bruce Kulik's Water in the process, so I gotta re-upload that at some point. Now here's the real question, who's gonna be going away for Dialga? Oh, you gotta replace somebody. Yeah. Right. Uh, uh... Fuck. I am thinking Luxray. Yeah. Luxray is like the weak link. 
Or it's like Luxray is a solid Pokemon, but like out of all the Pokemon we have, it's probably it's the probably least the interesting. Worst. It's probably yeah, the it's worst like, on the team. Right, because Mamoswine's strong. Gastrodon is like super slow, but the type coverage is nice. Oh wait, no. I actually now that I think about it, I kind of lose my ability to deal with water types, though. True. I think I might lose Staraptor. Yeah. Because Staraptor and Infernape cover a lot of the same types, so. True. Oh yeah, Mesprit's the roaming Pokemon. Is he? Is okay. Who's your favorite of that trio? <laughs> oh my god, I have some prime competition for thumbnail material in this one. Oh. Right? Oh my god. Wait, no. Oh, wait, no, never mind. My thing would cover it up. Okay. Ah. Uh... But yeah, who's your favorite of the Link trio? Uh, probably... Well, it's not Mesmeric, because in Platinum, it leads you on a wild goose chase. Yeah, it is a roaming Pokemon. Uh, I'd say probably, uh... I'd say probably, uh, Azelf, because, uh, closed eyes are just no. Why do we have the same tasted Pokemon? <laughs> I was like, he's gonna say Azel. I'm gonna lose my mind. Did you see the way he just walked toward me? <laughs> yeah, what the fuck was that? <laughs> he looked like a. <laughs> I can't God, take got... these models seriously. No, it's a Hodge Crow now. Now, the question is will it still be just as tanky? Uh oh. Uh oh. Well, luckily. Hodge I'm... Luckily, I'm not dealing with Flame Wheel anymore. True. Watch it not knock it out. I was joking. Ah! I was joking. Why is it when I joke it happens? Ah! Is this why I am? The manifesting mm. jester? Oh, you're gonna play that game, I see. Yes, he is. What a bitch. That was just me putting a weight away. <laughs> I need to get some heavier weights, if I'm honest. Hmm. I need to get, like, any weights. Yeah, don't be afraid to start small, either. Yeah. I honestly just want to regain some arm strength, and that's it. Yeah, unlike me, who wants to look like Kane Roberts. <laughs> yeah, I think Staraptor's gonna be the one to go. Yeah, Staraptor's solid, but you know. It, co it it covers a lot of the same ground that Infernape does. Yeah, like Luxray is kind of a necessity with our coverage. Like, I think the second choice to get rid of would have been, you know, like Gastrodon, purely because we have two ground types on the team. Oh, yeah. But, like, I don't know if the ice versus water type uh, co combination with ground I, I don't know have which a one is lot better. of coverage on Gastrodon, though. True. Gastrodon's pretty fucking solid, this is, I'd say. this is actually a pretty killer moveset. <laughs> right? For such a slow Pokemon, it's, like, actually not bad. And then, uh... And then, um... And then, um... And then Mamoswine is just really strong. Yeah. And, Mamoswine um, is very bulky. The day I get rid of Absol will be the day I die. God, yeah. Yeah, I guess uh, Staraptor is our choice. Yeah, so it would basically go down to these two, and... Uh, if... We need that war coverage. Yeah, especially really with the Pokemon do. facing right now. Right, like... Is such a major necessity. Because, mm. like... With dealing with war types, you know... Mamoswine, I... Well, wait, don't Mamoswine and Gastron both resist water? I think they do. Like, they have neutral damage as a result of their secondary typings. I believe Mamos... I believe... No, I believe... No, I believe water's neutral against ice, so it, it, it would still be super effective. Really? Yeah. I... Huh. I... You can tell I've never really used Mamoswine. Mamoswine was always more like the Pokemon that Lulu would use compared to me. Weavile, huh? <laughs> oh no. As... <laughs> that... It's gonna get obliterated. Yeah, as much as I like Weavile, there's a reason I don't use it. It's a glass cannon. With me, I am like purely like offense. So it's like Weavile does actually suit my needs very well. Even that berry did nothing. 
I know, like, bro. Annihilated. I used my weakest move to. Right, like, poor Weavile. Close combat would have destroyed it. Right, like, the minute it's not outspeeding, it's like, you're, you're in a rough spot if they have one super effective move on you. Especially that fighting move, which was four times effective, might I add. <laughs> yeah, like, and then with insanely low defense. Yeah, like, it is truly a glass cannon, but it's still such a major favorite Pokemon for me. And, like, I don't know why it became my favorite as a kid. It just was, because, like, when, you know... Oh, jeez. The Gen 4 games came out before, like, 2010. Yeah, it was, like, 2007, I believe. Yeah, so when Brawl came out, I don't remember when Brawl came out. Uh, Unibub wasn't out yet by this point. Yeah, and... Gen 5 was 2011. Yeah. And I got it, like, a little later on. Because it was, like, still being sold in Walmart. But, like, not long after X of Y was released. Like, I will become a deity one day. Maybe we should take God. him to an asylum. Just yeah, out of caution. An asylum, would, an asylum would do him some good, I think. Or the gallop. Nah, I'm kidding. Oh. <laughs> Dude. That's You'll never so believe it. <laughs> a song from Kisses Elm Asylum just came on. It seems to be challenging. You summoned it. Oh my god, that's amazing. It seems to be <laughs> challenging you as a test. This ultra legendary Pokemon wants me, a 10 year old girl. Okay. Dialogue is always my favorite. Of the two. So wasting the Master Ball might not have been the best idea. Yeah, but it was funny. <laughs> because I think this is still gonna have the problem of, uh... Box Legendaries pre-Gen 5 of being an absolute pain in the ass to catch. Yeah, like, 100%. Watch that prove me wrong. I... I'm pretty sure... Dude, watch it- watch it say this quick ball! If it stays at the quick ball, I'm gonna laugh. No! 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 God! <laughs> <laughs> Dude! Okay, never mind. The master ball wasn't needed. Yeah! I'm tempted to Ooh, replace Gastrodon with that barboach. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. Fun fact, um, if it was shiny, you would have seen it immediately in that first bit of that little scene as it was introduced into the battle. I'm gonna give it a cute nickname. <laughs> Only be fitting of a god. Wait, no. No, no, no. It's a god. It needs a fit. Oh, no, we gotta go to a name raider. God damn it. I'm just gonna name it Bidoof. Bidoof. <laughs> I want a better nature. Are you gonna soft reset? <laughs> I did save right before, so. Right. Do it. Watch it be shiny this time. Bro, I would fucking cry. That would be hilarious. That'd be such a cool shiny to have on the team, though. It would. I think it's safe to say I'm not going to be drawing tonight. Hmm. Lucky for me, I have a good few days until. Uh... You know, the end of the month. Mm. Five well, days. Luckily, I did save right before, so we should be good. Right? Like, we're set. In theory. Wouldn't that have been really funny if my last save was before, like, yeah. I entered Sphere Pillar? <laughs> That's a personal okay. experience. <laughs> that is not shiny. I would have known immediately. It's, like, very green. I do like this background. Yeah, I... I like that glitched out, like, bugged out look. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't it be funny if that wasn't intentional? That would be really funny and on brand. <laughs> I'm going to actually look into this really quick. It's probably not. That looks intentional. Wow, yeah, okay, that, that was just luck. 
Oh my god. Me catching that was just luck. Oh boy. That's actually really funny. Alright, it looks like it's intentional. Mm. It would be funnier if it wasn't. <laughs> Flash cannon. Oh, sweet Jesus, it's actually pretty strong. It's not very effective. Uh huh. Yeah, it's intentional. It would have been funnier if it wasn't. Mm. It would have. Uh oh. Oh my god. Yeah, so I think the first quick ball was literally just luck. Don't on our- Ooh. This should not catch it. I'm gonna be very surprised if it does. Yeah, okay. okay. No. Do we have anything that can bring a status effect? Uh, not without hurting it more. Yeah. Fuck. We, we might be here a while. <laughs> Dude, all because it's like, oh, we want a better nature. It'll stay. Actually, can I run from it and restart it? Um, in theory. Oh my god. Watch it be like, oh, no. it's gone. <laughs> no, oh. I can't do that. <laughs> oh. oh my god. We are going to be here a while. Unless this next quick ball actually works. Watch it work this time. Uh, <sighs> I should have bought more Pokeballs. I know, right? Like, can you fly out of there and then come back? I don't think so. I think I think I think I'm stuck here till I catch it or. Well, let's find out real quick. Let's find it. out. Let's find out if I, you can just fly from here. I think I would have an. I think I. I don't think it's gonna let me leave because you can't fly from Spear Pillar, I believe. I think you uh, have to go down to Mount Coronet. Maybe run back. See if it'll let you. Yeah, I know. So you can't fly. Yeah, no, it's not gonna let me. Nope, we're stuck. We're stuck. That's fun. Guguba. Mm -hmm. I can't. I can't believe it caught in that first quick ball. Like, like it was nothing. Right. All, all this because it's like, oh, we could get a better nature. Dude, I think Dialga's fucking pissed at us. That really was a bad nature, though. Yeah, I say as if I would know. Dude, if this catches with Ace Fraley solo in Dark Light, I'll be very happy. Fuck! Yeah, that quick ball was literally just luck of the draw. <laughs> right? Hey, we caught on video, too. That's the funniest part. I s- Ow, I just fucking hit my head. That's what I get for trying to do workouts. But hey, what are you gonna do? Oh no. If I could freeze it, that would be really cool, but I'm not gonna be able to. Hey, at least it wouldn't be super effective. Because, like, freezing happens like once in a million chance. Oh yeah, it's like a million to one. It's apparently 10%. I don't believe that. Hey, you know how it is. If it's not, like, High percentage, it happens never. Alright, let's use all these. Watch. Yeah, I was gonna say, uh, if it, yeah, I was gonna say, I was gonna be uh, mad if it caught. Right, like, that would have been fucking hilarious, though. Like, Lulu going off her way to catch all the, uh, Trio and Gen 5 with- oh God, what the hell are they called? The Swords of Justice. Mm. In regular Pokeballs. Ouch. Ouch. And she succeeded. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> yeah. I must have taken Ouchy, forever. Ouchy. I think the first one she did on accident, 
And the rest she went out of her way to do. I think she only had the self reset on one of them. If I had timer balls, I could stall it. Right? Would a dust ball work? I don't think it would Maybe. work here, but... Maybe? I mean, I mean, it is nighttime. Fuck. Because I know it's like dark places and nighttime. Damn. I forgot After... how powerful Roar of Time was. It's scary. Maybe I could lower it a little bit more. Because it is steel type, so theoretically, this shouldn't right. knock it out. Right, this should probably bring it like real fucking low. Ah! <laughs> Bro, we cannot win. <laughs> Our hubris has <laughs> caught up to us, Nick. Oh. All of our, like, hubris from, uh, Ledge of Darkness is finally caught up to us. Which, I need to rewatch that whole series again. The, the quick ball Cause... catching it gave me hope. I know! Do you think it'll do it this time? That would be really <laughs> funny. Damn it, I should've just, I should've just kept it. I should've just kept it. I think there might be items to change natures nowadays, which are stupid hard to get, so it's like... It, yeah, it, it makes for seem worth it. Yeah, it makes for a funnier video. I would scream if we got a shiny. That would be a terrifying fucking experience. I'm aiming for higher attack power in either in either one and reduce speed by a bit. Yeah. That's what I'm aiming for. It's probably not it's probably still not the most ideal one, but it'll work. Look, let me look up uh, its most ideal one, actually. Hold on. I'm not Dog sure. Ideal nature. Uh, modest or quiet, which are plus special attack and minus attack, or plus special attack minus speed. So you actually were spot on on right uh, on one of them. Yeah, I figured. So, uh, there you go. I wish I had a sleep move. I know, right? Hey, try Ice Beam for the hell of it. Unless he's already low. Yeah, it's gonna need to recharge. Yeah, so, if you switch in. I'm it'll... just gonna... I could do I could I could do paralyzing it pretty easily. Yeah. That might be your best bet. Moo moo milk. Did you know that apparently, um according to a Pokedex entry, milk takes milk tastes different based on the season. Hmm. I'm just <laughs> Lulu... throwing the turn. Do not catch in a dive ball. Okay. <laughs> It would have matched color-wise, though. It would have, but it's... It, it would have been the first Pokemon I'd have, like, actually caught in a dive ball. Yeah. I have never I've, used the dive ball, ever. I've used it quite a few times, mostly just because, like, you know. That would have been really funny. Right? Stop oh my avoiding God. attacks. I want you to die. Oh, come on, say a one dive ball, please. It'd be funny. It'd be funny. Okay, okay there we now go. Now I can work on paralyzing it. Zazzle's had the opportunity to learn Thunder Wave. Again, yeah. And um, I decided not to. Right. I think Spark may be my best bet. Uh, yeah. Wow, okay. I'll take it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. No fucking way. Yo. And like, paralysis doesn't randomly fade either, which nope. is perfect. Holy shit. Is this the one? Is this the run? 
Just so you know, Kiss is Heavens on Fire is playing, which is <laughs> such a bizarre song. But it's perfect to, like, pump up. Oh no, it got the boost. Oh, that's an Omni boost. A term I've learned from YouTube videos. <laughs> Oh, oh. Wow, I didn't think I would survive that. How are you alive, Zazzles? Zazzles is like the most like early 2000s like airnet persona name ever for like a <laughs> like a sparkle dog as they call it. <laughs> I say this as if I'm not furry myself. <laughs> like you know what I mean. This shouldn't kill it. I I presume you know what a sparkle dog is. Uh no. It's like a really brightly colored, like, persona. Like, mm. neon fucking colors. Mostly associated with, like, the early 2000s era. Like, but, like, they still exist very prominently nowadays. I just had to... I just couldn't have an appy with the one I was given. I know, right? I just couldn't have an appy with that. Nope, now we're just, like... Struggling. And hopefully, um, this dial gun does not struggle. Cause I've lost a shiny Guratina with that. It was painful. Yeah, if it struggles, uh, it dies. It dies immediately. Hey, watch it stay. Yeah, I, I didn't will. think that would work. <laughs> Dude, I kind of hoped it did. I'm having too much fun with this bag of beads. Fidget toy. Yeah, I've never been the biggest fan of catching legendaries. Yeah, they're kind of a bitch to catch. Which, I mean, I guess I get. Freedom? Hey! Hey, maybe this is it. Hmm. If it catches with this fucking song intro. Bruh. Oh, come on! We, the people of the United States, in order to form a more perfect union. Ooh. That was the rawest, most badass shit ever. Dude! <laughs> I did. I... Dude. There we go. Dude, if I was the one nicknaming this fucking Dialga right there, I would just call it freedom for that. <laughs> oh my god, that was so cool. I like how Gastrodon has just remained unnamed this entire playthrough. Oh, yeah. I just forgot to name it. Well, it is a god, so it needs a fitting nickname. <laughs> See, I should shy hunt uh, Dialga and call it Freedom just for this. Freedom to rock. Freedom to talk. Ooh! Oh my god, no way. No way. We actually got the one. That's more than nature's. E that that makes up for the last several attempts. Dude. <laughs> did I send the wrong Pokemon to the box? You might have. I think I, I think I did. Uh oh. Yeah, you should be able to get back to a, the Pokemon Center at some point. Dude, I can't wait to watch this back and see that moment, cause dude, hmm. I can't get over it. I can't get over it. <laughs> oh. By the power of Alice Cooper, you caught Dialga. <laughs> oh, nope! You, sw th you got the right one. Okay, that's good. So I didn't see Star Raptor anymore. <laughs> this fucking Gastrodon. That question is do we nickname it now or do we leave it? That is a good question. <laughs> this fucking song is so good. The music video is even better because Kane breaks a guitar in half over his knee. And he said it left like a really decent bruise. So. Mm. Hey, no pain, no Kane. Well, I'm gonna have a, a very powerful roar of time. Right? Oh my god. Dude, the fact that you got like one of the perfect natures, that's so funny. With that moment especially, that makes it all worth it. What moves can I teach it? Can it learn Psychic? I'll laugh if it can't. 
it just like continues the cycle of like. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, there you go. I can't win. No, you really can't. Can't learn. It can't learn dazzling clean. No fucking way in it hell. It can learn aerial ace though. Right. Go figure. Cause god damn, what can't learn aerial ace at this point? Right. I think Sableye can. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Sableye. And yeah. Bruh. It cannot learn Dazzling Gleam. That is unfortunate. Sableye can. Hmm. I'm still confused on how Infernape cannot learn Drain Punch. Why? I can learn Aerial Ace. Hmm. Ha! That's funny. The more you know. I can teach it Swagger. Swagger. Could use a... Not a very good setup move. That is so funny hmm. that we got, like, a good nature on it. It's, it's actually a not a bad move set. set. Yeah. Two stab moves. I wouldn't mind replacing like... um, Agent Power for Dragon Pulse at some point. Yeah. Likes dry food. Hmm. Dry food makes me sad for the most part. If it's not meant to be dry, that is. You know, like dry meat? Painful. Oh, the upscaling doesn't like this. It would look by like mid plank. Fuck. Take a look at this text. It's probably worse on my monitor. Ugh. Probably even the stream to up. Uh, well, not the stream, but the but the actual recording too, because this is having to be upscaled to fourteen forty p. But still, if you're wondering how. I literally scooted back mid plank. Mm. I like the this dedication. look. Though. I like this look. Oh yeah. Fucking iconic. I'm probably gonna keep it. Now if only you could dye the hair. Hmm. Now if only you could dye hair in this game, cause like you know. It's weird that it's weird that you can't do that. Um. It is. It really is. I fucking hate it. Alright. My workouts are done. Officially. So now I guess I move my shit around a bit. This actually took even longer than I thought it would. Right? Oh Remittedly, my god. Admittedly, last 20 minutes has just been Dialga, but still. <laughs> Which is arguably fucking hilarious. I still have a tarot reading. Yeah, you know, I'll do a quick one card reading. Why not? Mm. So I try to do a reading every day. Uh. And so far, I haven't broken that. Let's see the card I pull. Excited to shuffle them. Then. All right, tarot. Give me a card. It would be a really funny if I just. Press stop recording and just left them hanging on what it was. <laughs> what the tarot card was? Uh, bye!